Hi, this is Aaron with Traveling Flamingo, and one of the most popular specialty dining restaurants on board a cruise ship is the Steakhouse. Today we're at Fine Cut Steaks on Celebrity Cruises, specifically on the Celebrity Edge, to tell you everything you need to know about this specialty restaurant and what you can expect if you dine here. All of that and more coming right up. We're going to start with atmosphere and theming. We were sailing on the Celebrity Edge when we dined at Fine Cut. It's an upscale steakhouse with lots of gold design elements and a warm, welcoming feel. They have designed the small space well so you have an intimate feeling while you're dining. Fine Cut has the best views of the Grand Plaza. You get to look right over and see what's going on there. While we were finishing our meal, the bartenders were rocking it out with the Grand Chandelier doing the light show. Also, if you're eating dinner early enough, there are some views of the ocean, but we were there after sunset and it was pretty dark, so you couldn't see very much. I'd like to sit near the edge over the Grand Plaza and people watch. There is indoor and outdoor seating, but indoor is definitely the most popular option. On the Celebrity Edge, you can find fine cut steak on the fifth deck midship. It's across from Raw on 5 and next to the boutique shop. It does have a nice location overlooking the Grand Plaza, as we mentioned, with some views of the ocean. While we were sailing, they were usually open for dinner, but they did book up fast. There is not enough seating for 100 people. It's a very small restaurant. There is a lot of competition on board Celebrity Cruise Lines for dining. The dining is usually really good, and this ship was no different. There is a lot of really great themed uh, restaurants on board. Just about every restaurant has a unique theme uh, and food to go with it. So there are a lot of competition on this cruise ship. But if you are really interested in theming and atmosphere, check out Eden. It's a great and unique restaurant. We'll get into the menu in just a second. But if you're enjoying this video, do consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really does help out our channel. Also, we have a bunch of travel videos. Specifically, we have a bunch more coming out on the Celebrity Edge and the Allure of the Seas. So if you're interested in those ships, uh, do hit subscribe and turn on that notification because uh, we, you'll get alerted when those videos come out. So otherwise, there are a bunch of other videos. The links will be in the uh, first comment, first pinned comment below. Highly suggest you check them out. On to my favorite part, the food. As you would expect from a steakhouse, there are lots of different cuts of meat, but they also have some great seafood. For starters, you can choose from jumbo shrimp cocktail, Berkshire uh, pork belly, different salads including wedge, Caesar, and arugula. There is a variety of sections from the grill including ribeye, veal chops, and more. You can choose from some premium toppings including chimichurri sauce, black truffle butter, they had a whole bunch of really cool sort of sauces that you could have. A really neat option is they have the butcher's block which serves four and has a variety of steaks served family style. This would be a nice way to try a few if you aren't sure which one you want. You can also choose four sides to go with that. Some of the other entrees they have are grilled sea bass, risotto, lamb chops, and more. Some of the sides you can have are creamed spinach, Yukon potato, Yukon potato puree, and loaded baked potato. There was a pretty good variety for all the steak fans in your group and people who don't want steak alike. On to what we had. We started with the bread service, which was fairly good, but nothing special. The black pepper bacon with steakhouse glaze, which was basically thick cut bacon with steakhouse. <laughs> it was good. There were pan seared scallops with sweet corn, espuma, fava beans, chorizo, and lemon. Lemon poached lobster tail, which is melted leeks, shiitake mushrooms, lobster ravioli, and bear blank sauce. Additionally, we had smoked bacon mac and cheese, which you can never go wrong with smoked bacon back mac and cheese, and Guayar tater tots, which you probably still can't go wrong with. The steak was well done. It was cooked well. The service was great. Uh, thank you to all the employees uh, who are on these cruise ships and uh, helping to support uh, the industry. Thank you very much, and thank you for the amazing service that you provide us on these cruises. Also, the seafood was really good. I would say that although everything was really good, the flavors were good, it was a good mac and cheese, the Guayer tater tots were pretty good, uh, nothing was amazingly special. Nothing was, you know, you couldn't get this meat, this this steak somewhere else. <laughs> it was well done and, you know, the, the meals were what you'd expect for a steakhouse, but in general, it wasn't anything too amazing. From a value and price perspective, this is one of the most expensive specialty dining restaurants on Celebrity Cruises. For lunch, when we sailed, it was $45 US per person and dinner was $55 US per person. 
This is the same price as Le Petit Chef, which we do have a review of, and Eden, which we also have a review of. And the only restaurant that is more expensive is Dinner on the Edge, which is the uh, side of the thing, the ship that goes up and down the magic carpet. And that's a buffet that they were not offering on our cruise yet. We were on the second uh, first cruise. <laughs> so they, hadn't, they didn't have everything operating at that time. Unlike other cruise lines where you pay a lot more for the steakhouse, this is a comparable price for dinner to the other specialty restaurants on board. It's a nice steakhouse with some good seafood and a nice sort of view of the atrium. If you're traveling with people who are not interested in meat, there are other options. The service was amazing. The staff know the menu extremely well. And because it's not as busy, really took a lot of time to chat with us and make great recommendations and a great overall experience. Overall, in terms of our opinion and recommendations, if fine cut is somewhere you really want to dine, then we recommend booking before you sail. It is extremely popular and it will fill up. When we were sailing, it was not at capacity yet and it was one of the busiest restaurants and the first ones to sell out. You can book through the Celebrity Cruise Lines app or you can call them directly. If you want something a bit more adventurous, we would recommend Eden as they had a very creative menu or if you want to enjoy the outdoors, some great barbecue at the rooftop grill is a great option. And again, we will be doing a, a video, a review of that restaurant as well. So do subscribe. Generally, we find uh, a lot of the steakhouses to be the same. <laughs> it's steak. Uh, it wasn't anything particularly amazing, but it was a solid steak and a great experience. So overall, we would recommend dining here. Well, there you have it. That is fine cut steak on the Celebrity Edge. Thank you for watching. Do consider hitting that like and subscribe button, and happy travels.